this is just like this okay and uh, as i can see that there is a in your brake pad which is of red color there is a tinge of yellow in them that like is what ABC, is this that is the abc yellow stuff pads okay so mostly polos are being built these hmm. days highly recommended to get that white line anti roll bar because it prevents the car from sliding at excessive cornering turns that Hey guys, what's up? This is this side from Autocops. I'm back again with another video, and uh, this video is really going to be amazing because this car is amazing. Mary, a very personal favorite car, hai, and I'm saying just like a kid who is who studies in school and has seen such a car that he wants to buy it for himself. So, guys, presenting you the Fiat Punto Abar, the last of the Fiat's legacy and the fastest of the Fiat's legacy. अब मैं आपको इस गाड़ी के बारे में बहुत कुछ बताने वाला हूँ बिकॉज इस गाड़ी के अंदर जितने मॉड्स हैं शायद मेरे को उतनो उत, उतने मॉड्स की तो नॉलेज भी नहीं होगी एंड बिकॉज इट इज कम्प्लीटली आउट ऑफ माई ओन नॉलेज एज वेल बिकॉज दिस कार इज कम्प्लीटली एंड एब्सोल्यूटली अमेजिंग एंड इट कैन थ्रो वेज एनी हॉट एच एस पोलोज एन लाइन्स एवरी थिंग यू नेम इट एंड दिस कार विल बीट दम सो स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो एंड प्रेजेंटिंग यू द ओनर ऑफ दिस वेरी इन फेमस कार मिस्टर सिद्धार्थ एंड ही इज द लकी ओनर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर कार एंड मैं आपसे रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा टेल मी हाउ इज इट लाइक टू ओन दिस पर्टिकुलर व्हीकल हाय यश एंड गुड टू मीट यू आई हैव बीन अ फीएट ओनर सिंस द 80s इन फैक्ट आवर फैमिली हैज ओन्ड अ लॉट ऑफ फीएट्स सो दिस इज माय सिक्स्थ फीएट इन अ रो एंड बेसिकली दिस कार वाज द पिनिकल ऑफ फीएट्स लास्ट लेगेसी इन द कंट्री सो बिफोर लीविंग इन 2020 विद बिकॉज ऑफ द BS6. Someone in the Fiat management in 2015 must have had some, you know, uh, some kind of a different thinking. The country is having hatchbacks which are focusing on fuel efficiency, which are focusing on drivability, which are not focusing towards enthusiasts as a whole. There were some bomb hatches, three cylinder turbo petrols, or normally like the diesel Pigo. So let us think of making something. So what happened was. Uh, 2015 January, Auto Car made an announcement that Fiat is going to make a T-Jet engine in the Aventura and the Punto. So it was something uh, which excited me because I had a diesel Punto that time, a 90 HP VGT, and uh, that was when the itch started. So I started to see the spy shots because that time also I was a member of any Fiat groups. So earlier there was a normal Punto with a T-Jet engine. Then slowly. In 2015 August, Fiat had organized one drive in Bodh, where this car's pre-production prototype. They were they had showcased this. So Abarth Punto was there. So before that, I had spotted this car even in Himachal, in, in the shade of white. So we never knew it's going to be 145 HP. We thought it's going to be maybe a normal T-Jet engine with 114 or 125 HP, but 145 horsepower. That too on a Front wheel drive has that. It's a lot. So obviously, it took me three years after the launch to own this because that was a time when the last lot was beginning production. Not many people know that uh, Fiat only made 357 of this in the country. In in the whole India. Yes. Okay. The reason being, uh, there there was too much of past baggage that Fiat was carrying, so it was not really meant to be a successful venture, but. those who had it or those are having it they know the kind of potential this car has especially with the dynamics part and uh, the engineering fiat is all about engineering fiat is not about aesthetics it is not about features it is about engineering so engineering aspect of this car is something which even most of the cars today they can't match today's cars are mostly about features about looks about that is why you can see साउथ अमेरिका ऑल्सो Abarth, 
just like you see the N line of today, which is basically a body shell of the Indian I-20, merged with the mechanicals of the European I-20, the TGD engine along with the DCT gearbox. So, talking about the modifications of this car, uh, like the first thing that is your personal favorite, and I would request you, excuse me, board is very long, I know, for a fact because it is owned by you. But uh, what is the modifications? What like what all the work has been put into this particular car? Most important thing of running a high capacity turbocharged petrol engine has to be the cooling. The problem with this car was they had given a very shitty intercooler just to save on the costing. So Christmas of 2018 got the Forge Motorsport intercooler, which is again a bolt-on part for this engine comes with the housing, comes with all the installation kit that is necessary. So that thing has been installed at the bottom, you can see. So compared to a normal intercooler, this is 2.5 times bigger. So that means the car can run on constant optimum IAT, so intake ambient temperature. It can make, it makes the car run cooler and obviously the engine breathes far better. Okay. Right. So second, second problem with this car was the intake. Yes. Intake of the stock car was rooted below. An idiotic thing, obviously. So again, uh, after a while, I had got this thing forged intake kit installed. So this comes with the heat shield. Okay. It already comes with the heat shield. This whole kit you see, it is again a bolt-on kit. Okay. So the charge pipe, the vacuum pipe. So everything is fitted as per the specifications. Okay. So this is uh, so basically it sucks in air from here and then it makes that intake inducing sound and this is specifically made for this particular car right yes yes okay not it's not an universal thing that no. people put on okay no. got it underneath there is a conical air filter blue colored one okay the and forged yeah it's a forged one right? okay and uh, here you can see there's a forged motorsport blow off valve okay atmospheric dump valve or what or whatever it's being called dumps of excess atmospheric pressure onto the air so excessive boost that normally a turbocharger makes that is thrown away and there is a constant power delivery because of this so this is the benefit of a BOV but again people need to understand BOV has to be compatible with the characteristic of the engine it's not just not that you can put on any BOV on any engine or any specific BOV to be put on anything you feel like just for the sound this thing has a purpose People have to understand what is the purpose of a BOV. So until and unless a, a BOV is proven on that engine used by people worldwide, it should only be put after understanding the positives and the negatives of it. Not for putting that hissing sound that people mostly put it for and then uninstall it. Right. Correct. And so what this engine is very really tightly packaged. Yes. Changing the air filter is a task. Okay. And uh, because the body shell is a bit different, so this has to be modified and put it. But there is one more thing that I would like to ask. Uh, people say that there is a power loss because of BOV. Does it actually happen? Or is it in something which car, is... it doesn't happen. Okay. I have heard of it happening in the 1 litre Polo TSI. I okay. have to understand what is the reason, but I haven't uh, got the, you know, the root cause of it. Okay. But it could be due to the rooting of the pipe of the engine because that BOV was made for the up GTI, 1 litre. Okay. Could be due to that, but I have no clue about it, but I have heard. Again, how true it is that people who have put it and okay. installed it. So roughly how many BHP is this particular car is, is making till date? This car runs a Wolf Moto Performance multi-octane remap. So if you run it on 100 or 99, 100 octane, it can push up to 185 HP on crank. If you run it on 95 octane, it can push up to 170. If you run it on a normal 91 octane BS6 petrol, it can push up to 165. So I have an option of running on any map I want because the, uh, the variety of fuel that is available, whether it's here or in across the country, it is not possible to get 95 everywhere or even 100 octane. So Rajiv and his team Shikant came in to do the map. So they had developed this map specifically for this engine and they have already mapped lot of T jets across the country. So that made me do the map. Right. So I'm running right now on stage two, I mean on the second map, on the 95 octane map. That is sufficient for your daily needs. 
Okay. If I'm doing a normal petrol, I'll run it on map one. Okay. So you need to press the throttle and check on the tachometer. If it is at thousand RPM, it is map one. If it is at two thousand RPM, it is on map two. It is on three thousand RPM, it is on map three. So that is how this calibrated. Got it. So this is how the car runs. Okay. All about drivability and straight line acceleration. Okay. Six point seven to six point eight on an ideal launch condition, it can do till hundred. Okay. That is obviously we had timed it approximately. So I'm saying about six point seven, six point eight to hundred, it can do. Okay. So and to do it very carefully because to avoid top steer and to avoid all the front wheel drive nose heaviness in this car. And what about uh, the side profile of this particular car? Like what you it have? Is, it is just like a normal Punto. Okay. So it just came in from the factory with red uh, racing inspired stickers and mirror you know, bars. Uh, scorpion clad alloy wheels. The design of this is just like a scorpion leg. Okay. So see the scorpion yet? Yes. Yes. This is just like this. Okay. And uh, as I can see that there is a. In your brake pad, which is of red color, there is a tinge of yellow in them. That like, is the ABC, what is this? That is the ABC yellow stuff pads. Okay. ABC yellow stuff pads. Company okay. disc car Brembo. Okay. Um, Company disc car Brembo. Yes, it came in from the factory Brembo brakes. Okay. Also, this is Brembo. Okay. And this is a 15 millimeter Ibar key spacer. Okay. And uh, on which springs it is lowered? Like, it is having Ibar crooked lowering springs. Okay. Again, made for this car. Okay. Plus. From the uh, come at the back, I'll show you the uh, sport dampers also. Okay. There are two most important things on this car. Okay. Number one are the Kony FSD sport dampers. If you can see, there's those red colored dampers are there. Yes, yes. And on the dead axle, there is an anti-roll bar. Like yes, this. yes, 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 yes. Anti-roll bar is not provided on any of the cars. Okay. So whoever is building a Polo. Mostly polos are being built these hmm. days. Highly recommended to get that white line anti-roll bar because it prevents the car from sliding at excessive cornering turns. That is very important. Okay. The same thing is on this side also. And does it have a uh, like a suspension upgrade, like as in terms of uh, the coilovers? No coilovers. No coilovers. The this... dampers are of the same size as the springs. Okay. And uh, you. There, are, there is another chassis aid I have added under the front uh, on the uh, subframe. There are two forged motorsport braces, two okay. aluminium braces. When you take turns at high speed, it keeps the chassis alignment intact. People who own the Puntos are well aware about the alignment issues this car can create. Helps to negate that to a large extent. Okay. So that that's all the list of modifications this car has. So basically, my purpose is not to build the fastest Punto. It has to be the complete package. That is why I kept the exhaust off. Because problem is that I want to put something which is made for this car only. Which companies like Super Sprint and Dragas and they make exhaust. But if it is compatible with this body shell or not, that I need to check. Okay. Here the problem is I'm not impressed with any of these, you know, DC exhaust or the kind of cleanliness you see on the car or the back. That thing is not has impressed me a lot, right? So that is it. Okay, so guys, finally, I'm in the interior of this beautiful, amazing uh, Abarth Punto, and uh, Sid is going to explain to you what all has been done on the, the interior of this particular car. Come on, Sid. So you let's can start. see there is a garret boost gauge. Okay. This red part is the vacuum reading. Okay. And uh, from here till is the turbo boost. So basically, it can produce up to 20 psi uh, pounds per square inch of boost here. And uh, not only that, uh, this whole uh, thing is from the factory as it is. It is coming from the factory. Okay. I've changed this light. This is an Alfa Romeo cabin light. Identical okay. to the Linea. So this has a couple of aircraft. Like red colored spotlights also. Okay. And uh, there's a dash cam of uh, Mio Taiwan. Okay. Front and rear. Uh, how yes. how do you turn it on? Like how is it? Automatically through? turns on. It is hardwired to the car. Okay. And this is the Abarth Punto European Specs uh, lens. This is called as a knob lens. 
Okay. Right. With this, I have got it installed. Okay. Bolt on part. Okay. And uh, you can see the bar, the red carbon fiber seat belt pads. Okay. Like came in from DP. Okay. And uh, another a couple of uh, head restraints. Uh, the uh, a bar, the uh, neck rest cushion, what it is called. And you can see the back, the Abarth cushions. Yes. They are all original track uh, bread. They are all original, authentic Abarth stuff. It's not that. Okay. Even this. Yes. Okay. The specialized stores which sell it, and even uh, the document holder. This one. So Abarth bread one. So you got all of this as an accessory, like they are all imported. They were not available in the country. Okay. So I got all of them imported from either Italy or UK or Japan. Different, the different websites that sell, like TMC Motorsport sells, like your uh, Italy Zoka Japan sells, like your uh, Black IT Black IT dot IT. That is a website which sells through emails. So quite a lot of stuff. Plus, obviously, I have a lot of stuff in the home. So the bar kitchen is here. See, okay. right. And even there is an abar safety kit at the near the stepney that has a pair of work gloves which I can use in the winter when I'm driving. There's a jacket, and there are two strobe lights. Okay. So that is all the stuff that is there on the inside. Plus, obviously, the red and yellow stitching on the gear, uh, the gear lever boot on the seats, in the armrest. Wow, those things. Plus it. It has a stock audio, not much into audio uh, setup because it's okay. a performance car. Okay. Plus, my friend Ashish, he has installed uh, lights on the door handles, like it comes on the international spec phone doors here. Okay. 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 Very very subtle footwell lights, same bulb on the footwell also. Okay. It's only that I'm not that loud. Yeah. Plus, this comes from the factory. Oh, this comes from the factory. Yeah, this has been like from the factory. Yeah. So, it's a generic Punto interior which I've been seeing since 2009. They just updated in 2014. And that's all. Not much on the interior. It's all about dynamics, power. Okay. Thing is that I like black interiors. Even those people who have seen the dark edition Altros hmm. has a fantastic black interior. Obviously, it catches heat a lot. The black color, mm -hmm. but there's a very practical interior. There's no need to constantly try clean and maintain it. Okay. And there's an abarth da non-slip dash mat also. So authentic stuff is what I have put in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So guys, I hope you liked this video. And uh, you know what you have to do. You have to hit the like button and subscribe button. And don't worry. I know. Jitni modifications this me ho rakhi hain. Ek iska running shot to definitely banta hai. So I'll put uh, that thing just now. So make sure you enjoy it and like this particular video. And agar apne set ko follow karna hai, you have to follow this car and the whole modification series and everything. He puts a lot of stuff about his car. A very knowledgeable stuff. Jaha se mujhe bhi bahut kuch seekhne ko milta because I think that I don't know a lot about cars enough. At least when I talk to him. I feel like dumb. I feel like a dumb person that I'm not into cars at all. So, Sid, uh, can you just tell me your Instagram where people uh, can follow it you? It is the gold and old. So that's a very simple page where I put about my cars, about my collection, uh, brochures, and the uh, merchandise. So that is where you can follow me. Okay, great. So it's been an amazing ride uh, with the uh, Abarth Punto and such. I'm telling you, I haven't seen such a hot hatch. And this is the cleanest hot hatch. 